Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we are back in SnowRunner continuing our SnowRunner Let's Play series. Now today we're going to be continuing exploring the new Amandra map and if you didn't see the live stream I did on Monday with Outlaw, um, the two of us actually went and explored the new Amandra map. We didn't actually get very far but we did check it out. It was a lot of fun and it was great to finally stream with someone in co-op in SnowRunner which is something we haven't done yet so if you want to see some co-op gameplay of SnowRunner on the SnowRunner Let's Play series then go and check out the live stream I did on Monday it was a lot of fun and thank you again to Outlaw um, for joining us in the stream it was great to uh, to play with him he was a fantastic driver uh, helped me out of a couple of tricky spots so thank you to him and uh, yeah let's continue with the snow runner let's play though we're here in the brand new amandra map and we traveled to the garage in the live stream in the brand new amandra map and we're actually here at the garage right now in the load star but unfortunately the garage is actually locked on this map and there's a couple of missions we have to go and do to unlock it and that's what we're going to be doing in today's episode so i drove over here in the load star with outlaw and this is where we ended the live stream and you can see here there is this scout trailer this was here at the garage already and there is also that fuel trailer which is really useful and um the missions we have to do there is actually two missions we have to get, go and do the first one is this broken power station and we have to deliver two metal beams from the warehouse over here to the substation over here and our trailer can only hold one so we're going to have to do that journey twice and then one of the other missions we have to fix a broken power line uh, which we have to deliver two um two wooden planks to the broken power line which fixes that and then we unlock the garage so first we're going to go and travel up here to the um, metal shipments um, like warehouse and then we're going to have to deliver them to the substation over here right let's fire up the old girl and let's truck on out of here and now the um load star you see here is exactly the same one that we went exploring the rift map in so if you haven't seen that episode i did actually customize the load star in that episode right at the very start so if you want to see me customize the load star then uh, you can check that video out now the load star has been modified slightly um since that video just for snow running purposes so I've put the off-road SnowRunner gearbox in it, which gives us low plus and low minus, which is going to be really useful. And we have some chain tires on there, which you can see, um, because obviously we're in the snow, so chain tires is definitely a good call. Why have the devs decided to put this tree here? It's actually a pain in the ass. Um, I've driven this road now like two or three times and I always this always happens every time I get the back wheel stuck and you can see the uh, fuel tanks there above the front wheels are a pain in the ass because they don't allow me to reverse backwards when I get stuck um, I don't know where we want to winch to I guess to that stump there now I've not driven this yet with a trailer so that should be interesting um, I think we're gonna struggle here to get that trailer over there hmm we might have to just drive around this just like around here maybe and just sort of plop down I also don't want to roll because while I do have okay as I say that we have rolled over we're gonna roll right over now I've got the autonomous scout winch on this so if we do roll over we can right ourselves um, but it is a long way if we have to recover the truck it's a long way to drive back to where we were 
So I don't want to roll if possible. We can flip ourselves over if we're in a if we're in a nice area if there's trees but if there aren't trees then we are going to struggle a little bit so this is also going to be a pain in the ass i've driven this route a couple of times as i said and a load star has no issue but with that trailer on that's added a lot of extra weight now we are going up a hillside in a minute which sounds like a bad thing but it's actually not we are like really stuck here now we can always detach the trailer try and move the international and then move the trailer but that's a bit of a faff but yeah what i was gonna say um going up a hillside sounds like a bad thing but it's rocky ground which means it's hard ground so we're not going to be dealing with mud like we are dealing with right here. Okay, I think we are just approaching the like warehouse now. We have nearly used all of the fuel in the Lodestar just to get up here. We have still got the reserve left in the, uh, in the pickup bed, but... I don't know how far that's going to get us. We need to actually get back down the mountain at least uh, that is what we want we're gonna have to do this trip twice as I said because we need two of these metal beams um, so let me just see which which way is the nicest way um, we are gonna have to go back down here to the garage to fill up again so whew. Um, I think carry on on this road and that joins on to the other side of this lake and then hopefully we can just skirt around the edge like we did earlier and then go back down the main road fill up and then make our way up to the substation I think that is what we're gonna gonna do and while we're here I'm just gonna refuel the load start and that is all the fuel we have now we only have 109 liters left um, which sounds like a lot but this thing is quite thirsty especially with this trailer on so yeah right we've made it back down the hill now we've made it to the lake um, I want to just drive over these rocks I feel like we could do that but I don't know how nice it's going to be i don't know whether it's going to be slippery or not so i think we're better off skirting around the edge just to be on the safe side i'm just going to mark a waypoint so that is where we need to go it appears as though you could just drive across like on these rocks here it seems flat enough um i might just test it okay i guess i guess we're gonna go for it it doesn't appear to be too bad i'm probably going to regret this regret saying that i mean it does seem fairly hard ground i don't know how deep it is there because it's like murky ground it could be really deep it could be shallow i just don't know um I guess we're going to test it. I have got a snorkel on this. Yeah, it is quite deep. Um, there are a couple of big rocks in the way. And there we go. We are nearly back on the main road. And I don't want to say it's plain sailing then, because it won't be. We have to navigate that section there again. Uh, we can stick it back in automatic though for the first time in a little while Yeah, this section here is just horrible Okay, the trailer is oh, mm. Trailer is really really stuck there That is a little bit of a pain um hmm i think what we're going to do at this point um i can see how this is going to go 
I'm going to go and get one of the more capable trucks. Um, I don't want to say the load star is bad, but I think it just needs a little bit of assistance um, from something with a bit more power. Um, so we're going to go and get one of the bigger trucks. It's quite a trek across Lake Covd back to where we are now. So I'm going to cut that part out and I will see you all when we get back here. Right. Okay, I am back and um, I've brought with me the massive uh, Pacific P12. Didn't bring the P16, although I like that thing a lot. The uh, P12 has all-wheel drive, so I figured that would probably be a bit more useful. Um, we have managed to clear this area, so I'm going to hitch up the load start on the back of the p12 i also decided to go for the fuel frame add-on figured that was going to be quite useful um so we don't actually need to stop at the garage but we're heading that way now anyway so um i need to just remember where we're actually going to um i'm just going to go ahead and hitch up the load star here there we go um ah i forgot about this um this thing may does this have enough power to just crush this down no it doesn't okay um the load star i think will be able to just climb over that although we did see on the way here that it couldn't the p16 uh, that may struggle. Um, I'm going to go down here the same route. I don't want to roll though. That fuel has given me a lot of... Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. It's given me a lot of... Tippiness. And it's a long drive if I have to go and... Um, you know, get this thing again. So, preferably not like to tip it over if I can help it, but this is not the easiest. Ah, it's gone. Oh no, not quite. Okay. That was close, that was close. Okay, let's not go with that. Um, if, we, if we go up the banking straight, I can't remember where that is it's there okay we need to go a bit further along when you're going up a slope you have to hit the slope straight on if you go at any sort of angle then you will roll um, this is dicey as hell there's also like no nice winch points if I do start going and it's gone it's gone and uh, now I have to recover this to Lake Covd and um, drive all the way over here again yeah let's do that Hello, and you join me now in a different truck. Uh, I decided to go and get the ANK. Um, very good off-road truck if you haven't got it already. Um, I felt like this thing would cope a little bit better. Um, it does have all-wheel drive and diff lock permanently turned on. I fitted it with some chain tyres. Other than that, it is completely the same as when we customized it in the ANK rescue episode um, yeah pretty good vehicle I've driven it over here from Lake Covd and I have to say it's coped mighty mighty well um, it's coped a lot better than some of the trucks that I've driven across here so far um, there was a couple of winch points that I did have to uh, to winch it out but other than that it has been superb 
so hopefully we can just continue up here. We're heading up for our second load of metal. Um, the first load of metal that we got on the International Lodestar, I loaded onto the back of the International Paystar with the with a crane and um, I ended up rolling that over so not great really um, but we've almost got a shipment uh, I'll just show you um, this is where we're delivering it up to up here is where the um, delivery point is I got the pay starter here and that does have a crane on um, but then I did fall over so we're almost there with that shipment I'm gonna get the ANK with another shipment we're going to go and rescue the pay star and then we can get both trucks up to there and we should be able to fix up the uh, the power station then or substation or whatever the hell it was called uh, but we do need to just first get another shipment of metal beams i think we are almost back to the pond again and we found with the load side we can actually drive across the pond which is good to know um, I actually drove across the pond not on the rocky bits just straight across the water in the ANK here and it seemed to be absolutely fine um, have I gone wrong um, I can't quite see where the road goes. Oh, it goes around there. Okay. And we are actually back to the pond here, which is almost back at the main road as well. Um, we are nearly out of fuel, which is another thing. Now, I do have the Acteon um, full of fuel just around the corner. So if we can just make it to there, that would be super. Um, I'm going to go on these rocks, but it is a little bit slippery, so we just have to take it slow. That tree couldn't be in a worse place. I like the winch point, but it is right in the way, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, so we only have 26 litres of fuel left, which is not a whole lot. But as I said, I have got the Actian ready and waiting just down the road. So if we do run out, we can always just go and grab that thing and bring some fuel to us. Um, so we'll just keep going as far as we can until we run out. Which I think is going to be fairly soon. <laughs> the um, the uh, ANK here is um, known for drinking quite a bit of fuel, I'll just say. Right, let's go ahead and fill that up, and we might as well fill up the Actian at the same time. And I was planning to use this as a bit of a winch uh, to pull us through, like drive this thing through first, but I don't think we need to do that. The ANK is a more than capable truck, um, hopefully shouldn't have an issue getting through there. Yes, we're going to find out. Let's see what it can do. We also don't want to roll now because we have got the cargo on. It just has no grip whatsoever on those. Oh, we do have a winch in front of us. Okay. Let's go for that. There we go. And we're across. All right, let's go and get the Actian now. Let's go and take this across. I do like the Actian, it's a super car. Or a super little truck, it's brilliant. Nice little addition to the game. But we are now, uh, let, let's just do a quick progress check. So um, we've got one metal beam here, one metal beams here. We need to deliver it to here, roughly. Um, we do have to just go and rescue the pay star, which is up here in a minute. 
because um, I rolled that over. Now, the Lodestar is right here with the trailer on. That is actually out of fuel at the moment. Um, but that has two um, cargo of wood, two, two um, wooden planks on the back of it on on the um the large scout trailer um so i decided to just do that off camera because it was pretty boring nothing really exciting happened i literally just drove here to the timber shipment place and drove back again and we've obviously got the wood on the back of there um but that is out of fuel so on the way past we'll refuel that thing but i was basically preparing ready for the next mission which is to fix up some telegraph poles which are in this area over here so you launch that mission from the power station once you fix that which you'll see that in a moment um once we have fixed the power station but i basically just went ahead and prepared a little bit so we've got the wood all ready to go so we're going to continue and then go up this road i went up here as i said in the pay star not too bad to be honest um i i rolled it over just to some incompetent driving so um hopefully we should be able to rescue that She's going. She's going. She's going. Hey, there we go. Nicely done. Now we have to get that cargo back on. Uh, oh, that's not in a nice place either. I can't see anything. <laughs> hmm. You're out of fuel. Uh, get you can get some out of the Artian or the Actian even. I think that has some in. cargo restore the crane oh, there we go right this is all good um, I think you yeah you've got to be a little bit closer I think I'll carry on in the pacer if you want to go in the in the AMK and I'll let you lead because you know the route a bit better than I do I really should have cleared that rock, uh, that rock slide, but I mean, driving on the lake's actually not too bad. Oh yeah, there's the fuel trailer. Oh, nice. So if I do this one, that's going to be this fixed. There we go. Okay, new task is available for Mandra. Oh, that must be back here. Uh, yeah. So if we go on this one. Okay, now we can see the two poles as well. I'm just scouting this out now in the. Um, Actian to see if it is actually a good route. Just thought I'd go on ahead and see what we can uh, see. Oh no, don't go through the ice here. I thought I'd just corner cut a little bit. That didn't go so well. I'm still kind of moving. But it's... 
No. Yeah, no winch points, no kidding. Uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> I thought, oh, I'll just be able to shortcut across here. Mm. Ah, there we go. Oh, no. Oh. Things are happening. Let me just get that other wheel out. There we go. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Whoa. So are you gonna go down in there? Real slow. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go low, I think. Oh, okay. It's not too bad. Well, the good thing is water means rock. I think we're making the most progress we've made. I think this is the best way to go. I don't think I don't think we would have been able to go the other way. I think it's luck. I think you were very lucky in the GMC to get up that um, that rock part. Yeah, I think it gets really deep here. Oh, you might be able to do it. I'm, I'm not that far in here like I'm all right here it's just whether you have enough drive to go up there because I'm fighting against the water now and it doesn't want to you know I think you might be able to do this I've done it. Yeah, I'm I'm to this ski slope bit. I'm there. It wasn't that deep. If you put it in um if you've got diff lock, well that has permanent diff locks. It's fine. Yeah, it was quite deep, but it didn't like, I think I've got a snorkel on that ANK. Low minus. There we go. That's the first one done. Um, yeah, I think if you go down that way, you should be fine that way. It wasn't too bad coming up, but obviously you've got a lot of momentum going down, down the hill, so... Alright, here we go. We just come up, we're going down. Low minus. Bit of engine braking going on. Just nice and slow. I don't want you running out of fuel. <laughs> I'm following your tracks up here. You've left some nice big ruts for me. <laughs> At least there's plenty of winch points. Oh, I nearly rolled over. To be honest, I don't know why I'm coming up here. I'm just doing it for the video, I think. I don't really need to come up here because I think you've got enough fuel. Yeah. Do not roll now. Oh, oh. 
Yes. Oh yes. Right. Let's let's hop in the P star. Garage discovered. There we go. It's done. We can switch to the garage. Oh, glorious. And relax. <laughs> yeah, two and a half days later and it's open. And now the video is finished as well. I can actually edit this video and get it up there. I'm like a week later than everybody else opening this garage, but... Oh, well. The garage is finally open in Amandra. Thank you to uh, Outlaw for giving me a hand with this. It's been an absolute nightmare. But we have, uh, we have finally got it open. But that's going to do it for this video. It's going to be a long one to edit. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.